welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about these vintage shower curtains that I found in that hoarder house. So stick around. I'll see you soon. Hi friends, welcome back. Let's talk about shower curtains. Precisely vintage shower curtains. Guess what I found at my favorite hoarder house? That's right. I found some vintage shower curtains and I wanted to share them with you today in a really quick video. So I have to mention on one of my visits to pick up some vintage clothing from the hoarder house that I was looking for some old vinyl shower curtains. I have one in my bathroom now on the shower, you know, hanging over the tub. And it's a pink one that I got at an auction a long time ago. And I just clean it every month, you know, and clean off, you know, the scum that grows on it. But I was really looking to replace it and they're hard to find. And I just happened to notice when I went, walked in the hallway that the bathroom has a pink vintage shower curtain hanging in the tub. And I said to him, do you happen to have any more of those? And he said, yeah, he took me over to cabinet and he opened it up and he had a few in there. And I just said, would I be able to buy one of those from you? And he said, yeah, we'll just throw it in with your haul. And I said, awesome. So I purchased these two pink, because remember her favorite color is pink and blue. So I purchased these pink shower curtains. This one's a floral one to replace the shower curtain in my bath. So I purchased that one. And I also found in the cabinet, this one, which is like a starburst. As you can see here, it's got some Starburst on it. And these have never been used, but they are no longer in their plastic wrapper. And the cool thing about old shower curtains are you usually got a set of them and they had the tie backs because they also included usually a curtain for your window so that you can match. A lot of showers a long time ago had windows in the shower itself and you would put those on your window in your shower and you had tie backs that was included. So I bought those two when I was there in August and this week I got a call for my final vintage clothing haul. He said, I'm in the attic. I found some more vintage clothing. Come over and have a look. So I went over and had a look and not only did he have vintage clothing, but he had piles of other things for me. So I bought a big walk by again of about 200 pieces of vintage clothing and the rest of it was just textiles and shower curtains and just, I don't know, all he threw in. He just, it, I never went through and picked. I just said, hey, any clothing you get, I'd be interested in. A shoes, purses, I have some purses from this haul, just anything like that. And I guess because I like shower curtains from back in August, he gave me all the shower curtains he found and he had a lot of shower curtains to give me. So apparently Catherine likes shower curtains. They only had one bathroom. So I'm kind of like not sure why she has so many shower curtains, but we're going to go and take a look at Catherine's shower curtain collection today that I am now the proud owner of. So this is a 1980 shower curtain. It's still in the package. It has the shower curtain rings and it is just a basic cloth like shower curtain in pink and white. So she never opened it. So I don't know how much she really liked it. But then this thing is gorgeous and she never opened that either. So I maybe she liked it too much and she didn't want to use it because it was so amazing. So this is another pink set and I'm guessing this is probably from the 60s. It is a pink swan on a pink background with the pink shower curtain hooks and it's still in its original packaging and it is not only a shower curtain but also the cafe curtain for your window in your in your bathroom. So this is just uh, this is probably one of my favorites there. This is probably from the 70s or 80s. It's got that blue and pink floral sort of design. And this is more of a cloth-like shower curtain. And it is still new in the package also. I'll get back to the boxes. I'll just go through these quick. Butterflies, I can't find the, sh um, the shower curtain liner, 
but this was obviously for your, I don't know, was it a valance that went across the liner or did it go in the window? But there's one of these with the palms on it. Those are pretty cool. And it's friend with the palms on it. So that's fun. We have poodles. So we have some pink, a purple poodles. Poodles, poo -poo poodles. I love me some poodles. So here is the liner. This one's a little sticky. So I'm not really excited about that. That, that one's probably seen better days. And here's the curtain that goes with it. So the pink poodles, not in the best condition. I feel the stick on my hands right now. Here is blue fish, which is not also in the very of best of conditions. It's yellowed a lot, so. Those, not so great. These, on the other hand, pretty cool. These are some pink uh, purple shower curtain liner that she's never used. Not sticky and not dry rot. And there she pinned together the shower curtain tie backs. That's so nice of her. Here is some yellow butterflies. This reminds me of those um, bedding sets. I guess it was the 60s or the 70s and they were yellow and they had orange butterflies. That's what this reminds me of. I forget, was that Canon? I forget who did those butterfly sets. But okay, so we have that. We have a pink polka dot vinyl liner. We have, I think this is 70s. This is a cloth one. And it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And it's just got some metallic gold flowers on it on a white background. This one has some staining on it. It's probably from being stored, some storage stains. Just a um, Magna liner in the container. This is an Ames. Remember Ames? I do not remember Ames. Um, <laughs> I remember there was a department store called Ames, but that's an Ames liner. She never used that. This is kind of a peachy pink liner. Now we're getting into some pink florals again. Tie backs are right there. So this probably has curtains with it. Those are fun. I like the pink flowers, pink and green. Another similar, it's basically the same thing. This actually might be the liner, the other one might be the curtain. So matching set there. This is adorable. This is a pink. I'm gonna say this is a curtain. I can't tell. I'm not sure what this is. It's awful short. So I'm guessing it's a curtain for a bathroom, but it is pink and it has the fun little florals on and they're flocked. So really cute little pink bathroom curtain. Another pink floral bathroom shower curtain. Pink sort of, I don't know, Fleur de Lis sort of shower curtain and uh, it looks like it has a ruffled shower curtain top and also uh, window curtains. Flamingo pink shower curtain liner. Some floral, colorful floral shower curtain liner. Pink shower curtain, probably from the 80s, I'm guessing. These are all made in the USA. Now let's look at the boxes see what's in the boxes so we have a blue this is like a, almost like a nylon and then there's a and this is like flocked so I'm guessing this might be actually for the window and then here is shower curtain window and then your your shower curtain liner so you have a whole set in that box this is I'm guessing this is probably 80s. So you have a blue ruffly shower curtain. And I think that went 
at the top of the shower curtain it's got a little bit of a ruffle at least that's what the picture is showing so she has that in blue and that's definitely 1980s and there is a picture of it on the cover here is another one that is exactly the same as the last one so it's a blue one with the ruffles shower curtain there here is exactly the same as the first one I showed you, except in pink instead of blue. And it's got that flocked kind of nylon um, shower curtain and then the pink matching lining for the inside of the shower. This one has just a pink nylon like shower curtain there. It's probably a little newer, I'd say 80s on that one too. This has some sort of like teal plastic shower liner. Interesting texture to it. With a, and it's in the box with this floral teal plastic floral liner, shower liner. They probably didn't both come in that box, but that's how she had them. And then there's a pink polka dot shower liner and a just plain old pink shower liner in the bag. We also got shower hooks, more shower hooks, peach shower hooks, white shower hooks, some more white shower hooks, some flamingo pink shower hooks, and some tie backs for, I'm not sure what these are for. I don't see this pattern in there. Um, some butterfly tie back hooks or tie back vinyl things and some butterfly for that yellow butterfly tie backs. So what do you think? You know, I think the sad thing is I only have one bathroom with a shower. So it's going to be a really tough decision deciding which shower curtain I'm going to use. I'm almost going to have to do some sort of lottery system for the shower curtains. Or maybe I could just use like a different shower curtain every month. Hmm. Keep my husband on his toes. Wait, wasn't this pink in here yesterday? Now it's blue, pink or blue. I guess my new theme in my bathroom is going to be pink or blue. So anyway, that's Catherine's shower curtain collection. I hope you enjoy watching. It was just like a fun little video. And I will be back real soon with vintage clothing haul from my last haul from the Hoarder House. So stick around for that and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.